Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. These coral reefs sure are neat. I cleared out a little area. I was trying to collect the blocks. Um, and it was just digging out an area. Not super awesome. But um, I set up this uh, conduit so I could stay under here and didn't have to constantly be worrying about. Is that another puffer fish? Yes, it is. I didn't have to worry about coming up for breath. Um, and I could stay here at night. And hi, buddy. Ha, got you. So, um, this is a warm ocean area, which means bone meal does interesting things. It grows corals. It grows corals and coral fans. Seagrass, of course. Um, but... It does it does all this stuff so I've been going through and redecorating and then harvesting the corals and I installed a uh, data pack that's on uh, I believe it's in use on the hermitcraft server and what it allows you to do is craft coral fans into coral blocks because the the fans and corals are renewable as I'm showing right here hi um, but the blocks themselves are not, which is not awesome. Uh, and then playing around with it, I noticed that when I bone meal in the area nearby my little conduit here. Hi, Mr. Bowser. How are you? I've got a dog at my feet. Oh, yeah. Um, they can grow coral up on the side of this thing. And I'm wondering, I need to do some testing, but I'm wondering if... Having a structure like this is actually will help improve yields on uh, on coral farming. I think it will, um, and it makes sense, right? Because like they've been in in places where the coral reefs are actually endangered. You know in the ocean um they they've gone and, and started doing things like oh we'll place um shipwrecks like rusted out ship holes and whatnot and uh and put it there and that gives the coral something to sort of grow onto because they are living things and they need an environment so i don't know um it'll be i have to devise a test to figure out if that's the case I also figure out the right material to use because this prismarine, hey, come back here, uh, is a little bit, um, it's it's a little bit, uh, it, it breaks easily with a efficiency five pick, which is what I have here. So I don't want to accidentally be breaking the conduit Yeah, so I'm also I'm a little surprised, honestly, that there's only five different types of coral. I'm surprised that they didn't do a more of a rainbow and do the eight. Like every other thing that has colors has eight. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Anyway, so so that's what I've been doing over here, and then I'll decorate it up. Um, hello, Mr. Dolphin. How are you? Uh, yeah, so there we go. Um, but these conduits have been super helpful, and I don't have enough of them. I've got a couple, right, that I've placed in back at home. One near the, the Trident shop, and one out near my Turtle Island area. Actually, these make nice decoration too, so I may not have to like rebuild too much in terms of the, the blocks themselves. But anyway, 
Uh, so I've got a couple out there, and then I've got I've got one in my travel kit, which is this one here, and it's what I used in the ocean monuments to make the ocean monuments much more easy to deal with. I did on my way to this location find another ocean monument, and I went in and got some more sponges. It had a really tiny sponge room, uh, but worked pretty well. Uh, having the conduit really, really does help. Yeah, I think this is kind of neat. So we could decorate up with these fans and things. And we can sort of have a bunch of them I'm trying to fill up a couple shulker boxes with all the different variations on the coral. And have enough that I can make dead coral if I want. Even though it's not the prettiest block in the world, so... I don't know why. I don't know quite where dead coral might be helpful, but I'm also was have been thinking about building a little underwater. I don't want to call it base, but like a little underwater home. And this might be the area to do it in. Right? I cleared out some space. Maybe I'll build it right around here. Leave the conduit in place so that I can, uh, you know, spend time under there. And then figure out what kind of things should be going into an underwater an underwater vacation home. And what the what that would look like, because it's not it's not really a thing. We don't really have underwater houses in the world so much. Um and you know what what the doors would look like, how you get in and out, how you keep the drowns from coming in. Because <laughs> one of them wanders by every now and then. The conduit helps. Uh, helps protect against them, but they they do show up. Uh, I've got sea pickles around uh, to provide lighting, so this area doesn't get terribly dark, and that helps with the drown, so they don't spawn much. Yeah, uh, that's kind of cool. That could be the yard, the yard, the garden, the yard. Um, so, so anyway, I've been just. I don't want to clear too many more of these coral structures because I think they're kind of cool looking. And let's, uh, so yeah, I go bone meal a bunch of area and then remove all the seagrass and then go and harvest the coral fans and the corals. And then when I get enough, I bring them back. I've been looking out for puffer fish and I've been collecting puffer fish. So I'm trying to get a shulker box full of puffer fish. Is that another one? No. A tropical fish. I also have a shulker box filled with tropical fish of different varieties. So I can make a, a little aquarium back home. I think that's, that's very cool. The puffer fish are, they're mean little suckers. Um, they're, they're solo. Here's one. And they, they don't, you know, they're not entirely neutral passive mobs they they seek you out <laughs> i'll be walking along or, or rowing along just kind of my own by my own business and then i'll start taking damage from the poison it's kind of annoying so got a couple more there and then when i run out of buckets i've been i've been harpooning them uh, so i get more puffer fish to make uh potions out of but br underwater breathing potions are a little less important and critical now that we have conduits which means I need more conduits so let's do something about that so I set up a base of operations out here on this little island that had been torn apart I don't know maybe there was a buried treasure here or something but if I come over far enough this way I thought uh, the portal is just right over there. So I'm not that far from everything. Uh, and the turtles do like seem to like this island. I've been trying to restore it a little bit flat for sure. But, uh, and then I put a beacon here, not so much because I feel like I need the uh, resistance and, and, and regen, but uh, just so I can make it easier to find because I was kind of getting, I got lost uh, trying to find my way back here at one point. And the beacon's visible a little bit farther away than a flat island. So, so there we go. So here's 
some of the stuff that I've collected and I'm I've got overflow going here um, sort of differentiating between the coral and the coral fan is has been interesting oh brain coral that goes here um, so uh, horn coral goes like that there we go uh yeah so let me get this stuff cleaned up and then we'll we'll do something have a little bit of fun you see i got three more bucket fit uh puffer fish bucket fish <laughs> uh and then five dead puffer fish so let me put this stuff away so here's what the uh the coral uh data pack does if you fill up a whole block like that of coral fans Oh, there you go. You get one coral block. So it's expensive. And I don't think you can go the other direction. Um, so it being expensive, I think, is sort of justify the fact that you're doing it. Um, and I said, I don't think the blocks go the other direction, right? No. So it is simply a way of, at some expense, making coral blocks renewable. Which I think on a multiplayer server is a good thing because there's only so many of these, um, uh, so many of these uh, coral reefs around, and we, I would like to protect them, and even with the data pack renewing them by rebuilding the coral reefs would get crazy expensive. So uh, I think if we make it easy for people to get the coral blocks that they need ahead of time. Like, I need to focus on these, I guess. Uh, then that, I think, helps. So, anyway, going to go to sleep. And we'll go on a little adventure in, a, in the morning. Okay. It's time to say goodbye. And see if we can find ourselves another heart of the sea somewhere. I'm going to head off this-ish direction. We'll see. I don't know if we'll be able to find something. The last couple of things I tried to... Uh, tried to go dig up or pointing me back at the same place as before and a lot of this area has been explored but I do have two buried treasure maps so oh uh, uh, so yeah we will we'll go out a little ways and the, the maps seem to generate when when they're open I think so I'm gonna go off a bit this direction We'll open one up and see if we can find uh, a new buried treasure. Wow, I'm hearing zombie and skeleton noises here. But I don't see any evidence of a cave. Where am I at? Let me take a screenshot because one thing I need is I need a good source of bone meal out here. And if there's a skeleton spawner somewhere around here that might be helpful witch hut let us switch to the appropriate ranged above water ranged weapon I don't really put any good loot inside these witch huts do they Oh. Ha! <sighs> Witch down. Um, and unfortunately, she only dropped a stick. No way to get up into her hut. Okay. I don't know that I need a witch farm out here, but... It's, uh, oops. Hello. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Unless there's another one super close by, I'd like to make a duel or more witch hut. I don't know if this is useful, but... 
take a screenshot, and then we will continue on our way. Hello, bat flying over a river. There must be a cave here somewhere. I'm hoping one of these rivers, which are fortunately have been fairly navigable, will lead out to the ocean. It may not be a, a wise assumption, but we will find out. Some of the some of the turns there's zombie sounds. And out. Okay. Okay, what can we see? Oh, big old plane. Some cold stuff over there. All right, well, we continue on. This looks like an ocean to me. And do we have a, we have a structure over there, I think? Or is that just rock? That's just rock. I don't know why Bowser is being yappy, but he is. Oh, wow. No, it's a structure. And there's a magma block in front of it. It's like an underwater igloo. This is interesting. Okay. Oh, hello, Mr. Drowned. Get some air. And let's see here. Get the pick on in the hand. Oh, there's, there's more beasties down here. Um, okay. Why is there wood planks here? Oh, hello. Let me take care of you. Oops, that was dumb. Alright, let's get out of here. Ah! Come on. Swim up there, is Mr. Drown. Okay. Alright, so we're going to have to dig away a bit here, aren't we? There's probably a chest down here somewhere. Could it be here? Wow, that took forever. See if there's a chest down here, but it might not be correct. Should probably get that magma block too. Because it's not doing me much good. In theory, you could use it to get water and get air, but right, like this, I can come up here and hold down shift and Yeah, bubbles. But uh it's not super convenient. I have trouble, a little trouble seeing down here. Let's put down, I have sea pickles. Let's put down a sea pickle. There we go. I'm not seeing any chest. Um, could it be... Oh, it's right there. Hidden in plain sight, as it were. Oh, buried treasure map. Don't even think about opening that one. Okay, oops, let's, uh, let's break that. Just to be sure that I don't end up leading back to it. The dolphins may have actually been trying to get lead me here. Just kind of cool. Where'd my boat go? My boat is in my pocket. Let's put the boat on the water where it belongs. Oh, shoot. Did I just lose my boat? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Dolphin. So, pro tip. Don't put your boat on a bubble column. Going down. So let's break this. So, A, we have it. 
uh, for future use and and it doesn't hurt those dolphins okay so we're definitely in a stretch of ocean that I don't think I've seen before getting rubber banding I think it's generating terrain and again sorry about the dog so let's uh, see if we can get out a little bit so we're in a nice little cove here get out to open water and see if we can find ourselves some more buried treasure this looks like a dungeon entrance hello dude whoa shoot okay be careful here 